In today's session, we're going to be talking about vulnerabilities, right? What is exactly a vulnerability? So let's start with my typical house uh, analogy here. So we have my house and we have some windows and some doors, right? And we have our attacker, the threat that's on the outside, right? So what we can actually say is let's say the house was built and the windows and the doors didn't actually have locks on it, right? So an attacker could come into it, right? And that would be essentially a vulnerability. That's going to be a flaw, right? So ideally we want some locks and on our doors and windows to make the house safe, right? So in this instance, the uh, either the manufacturer built the house with, without win windows and doors and we put it in ourselves, we built it in-house uh, and we forgot to put the locks in or the actual builder forgot to put the locks in. Either way, that is considered a vulnerability to us, a flaw in either in our software system, right? So um, one of the things that we have to kind of like think about at this stage is if we just, you know, just kind of highlight here, we have internal and we have external, right? So internal is within our organization, within our company, uh, in this situation within the house, right? And external, right, outside to us, right? And what we could do, is you know how do we find these vulnerabilities right so one of the things we could do is we could hire an attacker right i guess an ethical hacker right to do some kind of penetration testing for us kind of like do some scans and everything and try to break in and see if they can break in right in this instance since we don't actually have any locks on the doors and windows the attacker is going to be pretty easily be able to get into it. And then he'll report to us and say, hey, you know, I was able to get it. There's a vulnerability with your house. The windows and the doors don't have locks on it, right? So that's one way we can find vulnerabilities, right? Now, the other way is internally, right? We can do um, what we define the terms as SAST and DAST, right? And essentially what that is, it's a security applic uh, static application security testing, which is basically doing code reviews and seeing, you know, whether whether that's a, a vulnerability there. And then the other approach is doing what is called dynamic application security testing, right? This is where we do scans. We can scan the house to see if there's any locks there, right? Um, and another way we can do is we can use tools uh, like white source that will flag uh, whether there's actually vulnerabilities in our software, in this case, in our house. Um, so that's that. That's one way. You know, that's a number of different ways we can actually do that, right? Um, just to kind of keep in mind here, right? This is all about risk, right? So the vulnerability, the windows and the doors not having locks on it, that is a risk to us, right? Whether we accept the risk, that's a different question altogether, right? So I'll leave it at that. Uh, thank you very much.